guys so in today's video i thought i would talk about a day trip i took to lausanne switzerland so from where i am now lausanne is about half an hour of me walking to the train station and then once i get to that train station it's about half an hour on the train so it's not that too long of a journey it's just a lot of walking and um with the house that i'm at right now I walk the dog in the morning before I left, and then I walk to the train station, and then I walked around Lausanne, and then I had to walk back from the train station, and then I had to walk him again. So this day I walked 10 miles, which I think is just crazy, and I went up 32 flights of stairs. So I'm from a place where there's like no stairs, so it's just like I was dead by the end of the day. It's a lot of walking, a lot of climbing but it was really enjoyable. So I took the train to Lausanne, and from there I walked from Lausanne Station SVB to um, Ichi, Ichi, which is the promenade. on and I was talking with the lady whose house I'm sitting before she left and she's like oh if you go to Lausanne you have to get an ice cream and walk the promenade I'm like that sounds doable that sounds fun so I got to Wichi which is the promenade and I think I got there a bit too early because I think I got there a bit too early because some of the ice cream shops weren't even open yet so I did have to I waited a bit and then I saw, found one that was open and I was able to get a lemon ice cream and that was very good. And so I kind of just walked the promenade, sat and like looked, there's some beautiful swans swimming, there's people going out on sailboats and um, the swans on Lake Geneva so you could see like all the mountains and everything, it was very beautiful. And then from Lausanne, from the promenade, um, I walked up to the cathedral which I took the train from um, Wichi all the way back up the hill, so that saved me some time. I took the subway up the hill to the cathedral, and that was it was really beautiful. I timed it right, I got there for noon, which is apparently when a lot of people planned to be there, and I was like, oh, that worked out pretty well on my end for not really planning. I just kind of had like a general idea of what I wanted to do for the day, but I got up to the cathedral around noon, that's when there's a lot of steps walking from the um, station all the way up. It was a lot of steps. I had to take some breaks. But the bells rang off at noon and you got to see the beautiful cathedral. Some of it was under construction. So from the cathedral, I headed to Art Brut, which was about um, 15 minutes. The Art Brut Museum is a museum that focuses on art not produced by typical artists. So people who don't have formal training or aren't seen as artists by like the artist world. So people from uh, mental institutions, prisons, um, people who, like now they would have an audience, but when this they were doing art, they wouldn't. And it was just a really cool experience. And it was just a great experience to see all, like, it's not like the typical art that you would see in a museum. Like when I was in um, Lucerne and I went to the Rosengart Museum where it was Picasso's and Monet's and Klein's. This was art that 
their names are known in Switzerland in this museum, but outside that, maybe not. So I thought it was interesting to see some art that way. And in the museum, they had plaques in French and English. So they explained like the biography of the person, how they came to do their art and then what has happened to them and like what happened to them to get to that situation. And I thought that was a really nice way of learning more about the artists. And then that was mostly the first, first and second floor. And then they had an anonymous um, exhibit for art where the person's name wasn't known or where they didn't want their name known or they used a, cinem um, a fake name. And kind of like exploring like why do we have to attach a name to art for it to be popular. And then after that museum, I was, I was tired. It was a long day of walking and I took the train home and that was my day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!